What's up guys, it is Carly here bringing you day 20 of my 31 days of horror and today I'm going to be talking about a sci-fi horror movie type of deal here and that is The Lawnmower Man from the year 1992. Um, have this little double back here, um, I believe JP probably gave this to me like two years ago at this point and um, I just kind of never got around to watching them because just based on the title alone um, I just felt like I wouldn't really be interested in these movies too much so I put them on the back burner for a long time and uh, finally checked out the first one. So um, first movie's plot is you have this sort of um, eccentric um, scientist I guess or doctor who um, experiments with virtual reality type of um, sciences and whatnot and uh, you know he de develops these games and just all this virtual reality uh, type of stuff and um, you have this gardener or you know lawnmower man type of fella who is uh mentally challenged he's just a little bit slow and um kind of seen as dumb and taken advantage of really easily in his life um he's um you know kind of just abused by those around him and uh, not really taken seriously or anything like that so um one day you know the um scientist guy I completely forget his name already um mentally challenged guy's name is job i do know that but um, he uh, takes Job under his wing and uh, he decides to, you know, propose this experiment on him where he can give him some experimental medicine that will gradually make him a brighter person so that he can live a more um, happy and worthwhile life and, uh, you, you know, just be smarter and not be as easily taken advantage of. So um, he does this and it starts to work. Um, Job, you know, becomes more attractive to women and he just becomes smarter and uh, more respected but uh, things kind of take a turn for the worse as Job kind of you know realizes like all these people have taken advantage of him his whole life and um, you know things just kind of get a little bad from there so um yeah like I said uh, this movie I kind of put off I had no idea what it was really about and I often I always forget that this is actually based on a short story by Stephen King it just doesn't seem like it would be but um I just um remembered that the other night when I was watching it and thought that was pretty interesting I've never read the story obviously but um that's kind of an intriguing thing about the film um yeah but I actually enjoyed this movie um to start off with like the first half I was really into I thought it was pretty solid just watching um this character um go through a hard time and then sort of go through this transformation with this medication where he becomes smarter and smarter and becomes more confident with women and just his daily life and uh, just seeing how um, it slowly kind of progresses and then also kind of roller coasters into um, bad territory and uh, kind of backfires on the doctor and all these other people. Um, I did dig that. Um, once you get towards the ending though, it does get a little too sci-fi for my liking, which was what I was kind of afraid of. Um, I guess that's kind of like the theme of this whole 31 days as I'm watching these movies where um, the they're not a full horror genre and the other half of them is something that I thought I wouldn't like so and that's kind of what I get when the movie comes to an end I, I kind of find that I was a little bit taken out of it because I wasn't too overly enthralled with all the more sci-fi aspects to it and um you know that's just me though I feel like it's not overly dated though which was another thing I was kind of worried about that it was going to be really cheesy and just the effects weren't going to hold up or anything but the stuff with like the virtual reality and all that I think is actually pretty cool and solid. There's um some scenes where you know Job is playing this game with uh, this kid and um, I just think it's kind of cool looking and it looks like something that I would have fun doing myself and um, of course you have just other virtual reality things going on where the uh, doctor is kind of experimenting with different aspects so um, I think that holds up pretty well. Um, there are some parts that come off as a little silly like this uh, mechanism that this guy kind of gets in. Um, I think it just kind of you know gets a little too fantasy looking for um, my liking but other than that, um, I think it is a solid movie. I think um, people would enjoy this one. I could see why people would like this one. I never really hear anyone talk about these films, if I'm being completely honest. I know I've heard, it's one of those other classic ones where I've definitely heard the title before and um, that's about it though. I've never really heard anyone go into detail about what it's all about. So, um, 
yeah, I think it is uh, pretty enjoyable though and probably overlooked by certain people. So I do kind of recommend it because I think it is solid. Like I said, I don't really know how the story goes, if it's um, similar to this or if this uh, is really different. Um, being a short story, there probably are some differences, but I give this movie a 7 um, out of 10. I was going to say 7.5. I believe I my final rating was a 7 out of 10 for Lawnmower Man. And I will be checking out part 2. So we will see um, if that one is any good or if it's bad or anything like that. Once again, I never really heard anything about it. So I'll be checking that one out as well. Thank you guys again for joining me for day 20 here of my 31 days of horror. And I will see you tomorrow for day 21.